This MIDI foot controller has 128 buttons. What? Like this? Oh no, actually it's like this. Hi, I'm Wilson. Today, I'm so glad to introduce the new firmware 3.0 of MIDI Captain. This new firmware package includes both the normal mode and the enhanced gig mode. You can think that it's like a game console which can run different games. Let's look at the gig mode and see why we see it has 128 buttons. Before anything else, you may need to update the device to the firmware 3.0 by just a few steps of copy and paste. The firmware can be found at pentaudio.com. Okay, now, the first question, how can I enter into the gig mode? It's very simple to enter and switch between the different modes. Press and hold key A when power on will let you enter into the normal mode. Press and hold key 2 when power on will let you enter the gig mode. Press and hold key 3 when power on will let you enter into the gig mode with all the LED always on. Once you selected the mode, it is remembered. And for the next time, just do a normal power on unless you need to switch the mode again. In gig mode, the up and down buttons are usually defined as page increase and page decrease. It has 16 pages, and in each page you can have 8 buttons, all can be fully customized. And for each button, you can edit 12 independent MIDI commands, 6 cent when the key is pressed down, 6 cent when the key is released up. So, that is 8 times 16, 128 buttons, and 8 times 16 times 12, 1536 commands ready for you to be used. The operation of gig mode is actually very straightforward. After power on, it goes into the page the last time you have used. If you want to set any one of the buttons in the current page, just click on the button first, then click the encoder button. You are on the edit page now. There is a very straightforward table here. All the 12 commands are just listed here one by one. You can rotate the encoder to the item you want to edit. Then press the encoder again. You can start change the parameters. For each command, you can assign the MIDI channel, the MIDI command types, PC, CC, or note, or even for the up and down function. The up and the down functions is not for MIDI control and it's only for the page increase or decrease. By this way, you can even reconfigure the button layout, such as arranging the up and the down to the left side. For PC control, you have one number to be assigned, the PC number. For CC control, you have two parameters, the CC ID and the CC value. The last blank with T or not. It means whether or not to turn on the auto toggling function. This is very useful to control the module on-off, as for most hardware or software, it takes CC value, the second number, from 0 to 63 as off and 64 to 127 as on. The auto-toggling will switch the number between 0 and 127 automatically. For note control, you have the note number and the note volume or say stroke. The note number from 0 to 127 had already been translated into the note name as C, D, E, F, G. For the note volume, 0 means the note is off. Here is another tip. Sometimes you want to make all the notes off before the new note on. It is very simple to add in the CC commands CC 123, 0 before the new note on commands. This CC1230 is generally recognized by all the music software and gears as all notes off. Okay, that is all for the MIDI commands setup. There are some other setup for the device function. List is all on the top row. Start from the left, you can turn on off the battery charging function. You can assign a color you like for the current button. In gig mode, there are 22 different colors can be assigned, and the last 12 colors a mixed color. Just choose the one you like. You can turn on or off the wireless function. Please note that you need to have the MIDI Mate wireless adapter to use the wireless function. And here you can assign the wireless ID to match the ID of MIDI Mate, which is default as 8. If you are in a band and there are several people using MIDI Captain wirelessly together, you need to set the pairs of wireless ID different from each other. And the last two parameters is the expression patterns CC ID. After all the edit, 
you can save all the setup for this button. Just by click the button again, you will see the LED flash showing the saving process. Then you can use the button now. With the gig mode, you can almost control anything of your software and hardware gears. If 8 button is not enough, you can set more pages of buttons. And you can also set certain pages for your certain gears. With the multi-command send ability, you can control different gears at the same time. Just use MIDI cables connect all the equipment in series. Start with the MIDI out of MIDI captain, then goes into the first gears MIDI in. Then from the first gears MIDI out or MIDI through, goes into the second gear's MIDI in, and so on. We call this a daisy chain. After this, we can assign each equipment a different MIDI channel. This is done on the device itself. Then, you can edit the commands with different MIDI channels for different gears. In this way, all the gears can receive all the commands, but only respond to the commands with the same MIDI channel. Okay, that's all for today's introduction of kick mode of MIDI Captain. Hope you enjoy and like the design. See you next time.